Hi! Today I'll be showing you how to smudge your room. And by smudging, many people have heard of white sage, um, wheat, sweet grass, wheat grass, sweet grass, and not wheat grass. Wheat grass is what you eat. Sweet grass is a smudge. And many people combine those. I have a combination of that. And um, rosemary is a really good one too. There's a lot of other herbs you can, um, dried herbs that you can burn and smudge around your room, creating an effect that is positive for your health and well-being. So, this is how I do that. This is my little area where I have incense and smudge and a lighter and a candle and, um, other stuff. So smudge today I have a blend of sage, white sage, and sweetgrass and I've had this for a long time and it doesn't burn very fast so I've been able to hold on to it. There's a lot of it and it might last me forever so I'll burn that. A good tip before you get started with burning this is to clean your room or at least organize it. I have a lot of stuff in a room that is very small. Well it's not that small but it's small and I have too much stuff and I'm making excuses for why I don't clean enough but if you are a clean person and you don't have that much stuff and you have a bigger area um, it'll be easier apparently to declutter using the smoke of the sage so because the smoke gets in things but if there's a lot of stuff in an area it cannot go through there so that is a tip that I've heard about. So clean before you do it. At least put things aside, walking distances where you feel comfortable in your room again and doesn't feel like it's too cluttered for you. Um, open a window, just a slight little bit. You don't have to open it all the way, but open it enough so the smoke can release itself once it's done cleaning your room. And um, yeah, I put it on a shell so it collects the ashes in case they fall and burn the whole house down. I'm just kidding. You won't burn your house down. It, it, I hope you don't. I don't know why I said that. So I have this lighter and I'm gonna burn it up. The sage, not the house hold the camera and do this at the same time since I have to hold the shell so I'm gonna demonstrate lighting it basically like you light anything on the tip get it nice and lit I said it doesn't burn very easily it's like fresh got it from a fresh person um flit flit I don't want to light my bamboo plant on fire. And then you walk around the room. I'll show you. So you're walking around the room. Um, you're walking specifically in a right to left side of the room. So you're going to the right side of the walls all the way around in the middle dance dancer do 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 I don't have a big enough room so it's still lit you can take it around your entire house if you want um, or just do a room at a time or just do one room if your parents don't like the smell I don't so just yeah and then you unlight it by putting it on the shell like that and the shell likes being a part of this, trust me. The shell is honored to be a part of your cleansing, healing, routine work. And there's no more smoke. So, yeah, there's... Gotta make sure that there's no red. Uh, I'm pushing it. <laughs> okay. And if you leave it on the shell, when you place it back down, there's no risk of lighting anything on fire because it's on the shell. So, 
Yeah. Sound healing. That's a whole nother story. All done. Bye.